everybody, welcome back to Taz's Way Closet at Wing Studio One. I'm excited today. We're just gonna have a casual relook at John Renault's Evan, which is one of my very favorite pixies and summer styles, plus a special giveaway coming up. But first, I want to announce our giveaway. Special thanks to Julie from squarebands.com. Julie sent over this beautiful pattern square band. It's the uh, US flag, red, white, and blue motif on the square bands design. In order to enter the contest, you'll drop below the video in the description box, locate the raffle copter link for this giveaway, follow the instructions. All you need to do is provide your email address. So the winner will be chosen by raffle copter one week from today's video date. And then I'll reach out to you via email if you are the winner. I will also post the winner on the community tab of Taz's Wig Closet YouTube channel. I have one exactly like this that I'll be using for some styling later in this video. So be sure to check it out. Square bands are an unbelievable, absolutely essential uh, accessory for me, especially in the summertime to keep the hair away from the face. But little did they know when they made this product that it was gonna be so popular among wig wearers. Uh, it has little rubberized teeth on the inside of the band itself that helps prop up the hair. And it also is very, very gentle on the wigs. Both of the featured wig styles today I purchased from Wig Studio One with my own funds. You can find them at Wig Studio One by expanding the description box below this video. I'll attach a link. You can go out and check out this style as well as more details, pricing, and all of the color options. If you have any questions for us, reach out to support at wigstudio1.com or from any product page on the website. Scroll down, hit the help button to be connected with the live chat. Evan is just such a classic little pixie style. And like I said, it's been a mainstay in my summer uh, wig wardrobe for years the cutest little pixie. I think the reason why I love it so much is because it does have a nice fringe. So it has about a five to five and a half inch fringe from hairline down. And so that's gonna stretch probably just below the hollow of my cheek. You'll be able to measure how that might fall on you. It has a little bit of choppier layers right up here along the hairline. In the back, it has just over a five inch crown. That gives a beautiful profile right there at the crown. Now that does taper down into a 1.75 inch nape. That nape is rather short, but it is ample to cover up most hairlines. I've never had a problem and it stays put. So I can just move that fringe around however I want to on this style. And it's so realistic because it has a lace front. So one of my favorite cap designs actually is a lace front open cap. That's exactly what Evan is. So you'll find a temple to temple lace front and then open top sides and back. But I like it so much because it does keep the price point down that there's no additional monofilament on the top. I like a lot of volume on top. So Evan is going to deliver that volume because there's a lot of permatease up there. But let's get up close first on this lace front. Lace front runs temple to temple. The knots are fairly fine on this one. It hugs the head nicely and it's just perfect for all of those kind of up and over looks. Pixies can be quite versatile. And when you have some of those lace features, it really does help give you more options. So another great reason why this is an amazing style to wear in the summertime especially is the fact that it weighs just under two ounces. Yes, just under two ounces. It feels like nothing on. Um, it feels absolutely weightless on my head. I love this wispy little texture that it has. So it's a nice fine feathery fiber. This is not a heat defiant fiber. This is regular synthetic. So that makes it just so easy to sort of fluff and pick those layers and get a nice wispy look. The density is just an average density. It isn't too light. It isn't too thick. Um, there's enough density there to, 
to give you a nice wispy look and good coverage, but there's also quite a bit of permatease underneath too. So that permatease is going to do a lot of the work to achieve this volume. So this particular Evan is in the color Palm Springs Blonde FS17101 S18. So the very first Evan that I bought, and I've actually owned two of them, is one in 12 FS8. I'll go ahead and try that one on for you. So this is the John Renault's Evan in 12 FS8. I think I purchased this one a couple of years ago. And my favorite way to wear it is kind of an, an up and over style design. It's been in the box all winter. So I think I'll need to spritz it with some water to get it back into shape. Um, but you can sense it's the same style. This one has a little bit more of a perpetual curl right there at the front that moves that uh, those side pieces in and forward. I work with the style, no matter what, how it comes right in the box. I try to find the, uh, the general way the style wants to go and go with it, work with it. But you'll still notice lots of volume there. Now the root on this one's a little bit darker, so you will see that the lace front might be a little bit knottier, but it's, it's still actually pretty well done. Here's an inside look at the cap for John Renault's Evan. There's that temple to temple lace front. It does not extend back into the ear tab. So it's just temple to temple. There's a velvet seam that it joins that lace front to the open wefts on the top. So you'll see open tracks there. I forgot to mention that there's a little bit of monofilament right there at the crown. That helps give a nice natural indentation of natural hair growth. And if people are taller than you, they might get a little glimpse of scalp there. So it is a nice feature to have. And then you have a closed felted ear tab. Nice sturdy stays. Those ear tabs are very substantial. An extended velvet nape with uh, Velcro style adjusters. Lots of stretch, lots of wefting here. I had to cinch this in as far as it could go to accommodate a petite average circumference. So in the styling, among other styling options, I'm going to show you the square bands. I wanted to give you an up-close look at those rubberized teeth that you'll see inside of this hair band. That holds the hair very gently, but it also props it up instead of smashing it down, so it doesn't ruin your style. Um, this is a nice hinged hair band, so it fits kind of like sunglasses. You know, it's just a little bit customizable for a perfect fit and a comfortable feel. I absolutely love these. Uh, there's a little bit of rubberized material right there on the arm that helps keep it in place at the bottom of the arm. You can wear it simply by stretching it down over the top of your hair or wig, and then pull the hair up a little bit around it to your taste and preference. It's not going anywhere. I could literally, I always say this, I could do cartwheels. I should do that one day. Just go out and do a cartwheel just to show you this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> um, that's what makes it so functional. When I do have a lace front, I want to show it off by uh, pulling the arms in just above the ear and then moving the square band back from the front there, all the way back. Then I prop the hair up and then I pull the hair out in front just a little bit. This is a wonderful way to show off that hairline. I just pull out a few hairs right at the hairline. And that, whether it's a longer style or a short pixie, that's one of my very favorite ways to wear this. Plus it's cool, it keeps the hair away from your face. 
And this one, I have one just like it that we are giving away today. So be sure to go below and sign up for the contest giveaway. Thanks again for joining me today for a look at Evan again in two different colors. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One and don't forget to sign up for the giveaway contest. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.